Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today is the 8th, Monday the 8th of April and um, I woke up this morning and I thought I needed a wee um, and then all of a sudden I felt a popping sensation and my water started gushing everywhere. <laughs> so I nicely woke Ryan up <laughs> and I was like, um, I think my water's gone. <laughs> And so we were like scrambling around trying to find towels and things like that, goodness knows what else. Um, but we phoned Labour Ward and they have asked us to go in to be assessed. Um, I think I'm 37 plus 4, um, which is actually quite nice to be a little bit earlier because of all the problems I've had with the platelets. So it means they've got less chance of dropping even more. So yeah, that's the plan. We're on our way to the hospital now to see what they say. We're hoping it'll just be a quick assessment and then we'll be able to leave and go for a walk and then just relax really and wait for things to start kicking off. Um, I feel okay at the moment. A little bit achy, but other than that, I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> you, Still half asleep. You look so nervous. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think you expected that though. When I woke you up, uh, did you? I didn't know what was happening. You thought probably thought I was waking you up for like a <laughs> cup of tea or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've had our assessment at the hospital. Um, they confirmed that my waters have broken. Um, and they did a fetal heart rate and everything was fine. Um, they checked the baby's position and the midwife who was doing my checks wasn't comfortable with where the baby was sitting. She thought it was perhaps breech. So she went to find a senior midwife and she came and had a check and she's quite happy that the baby is still head down um, and bum up. So that's good. Um, they've put some plans in place obviously for my low platelets. They need to catch up with the anaesthetist and work out what's going on there. And of course, because my waters have broken, um, labour needs to start now. So I've been booked in for an induction tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, in case labour doesn't start between now and then. Um, but since having my waters break, I am starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and the midwife thought she saw a tightening in my stomach um, while she was doing my checks and things like that. Um, so yeah, like it's not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's painful. I'm aware that it's there. It's more like period type pain. Um, and it's just a bit achy. Um, my waters are still still going. <laughs> they haven't stopped. Um, but we came out of the hospital and decided to pop into Sainsbury's because it's just up the road um, to get some like essentials. Like we haven't got much toilet paper in the house or milk or things like that. So we've gone to get that. And I've tried to make sure that Ryan has got a decent meal to eat for lunch and dinner and I'm just going to snack throughout the day um, and we picked up some extra snacks to put in our bag to take to the hospital and whatnot um, but while we were walking around Sainsbury's there was a lovely old lady who came up to me and she said to me you look like you've had enough and I was like yeah I said I'm getting there and she said to me are you, are you in labour and I was like yes I am actually <laughs> And she went, I thought so. She said, um, good luck with everything. Um, and she was just absolutely lovely. And then she was like, make sure you stock up on all the essentials. And then just as we were paying at the till, she was obviously getting ready to go. And she came back to find us to say good luck and that she hoped everything went well. Um, so yeah, it was very nice. Um, lovely for someone to be that kind. I don't know if she's perhaps a midwife or has got experience with people labouring or what because I, I wouldn't say that I look like I'm in labour um, and I am waddling a little bit but I wouldn't say that yeah I don't think I look like I'm in labour and me and Ryan were faffing about Ryan was looking at herbs <laughs> we went in for essentials and Ryan decided he was gonna buy basil <laughs> in a pot <laughs> so he was faffing about looking at those um, and he's actually just popped into sports direct because um when we went to our antenatal class last week the midwife there said even if he doesn't want to get in the pool with me there's like a a seat unit that he could sit on to help support me and hold me up and things like that but he would get wet sitting there so obviously he wanted to pack swimming shorts just in case 
all his summer stuff and some of his stuff's in the loft <laughs> so he's just popped into the sports shop to see if he can buy some new ones um, rather than going up into the loft because I just can't be asked with that today but yeah that's the update for the moment it's now 11.45 and I can't believe how fast the morning's gone um, I'm gonna go home and have a snack because I haven't actually eaten yet because um, because I've got an issue with my platelets there is a possibility that I may need a general anaesthetic if anything was to go wrong as opposed to a gem um a epidural or a spinal so but they've said i can carry on eating at the moment so that's good um so yeah i'm gonna go home and have a snack put something good on the tv i think we might go for a walk first as well but i need to go home and get my coat and things like that so yeah that is the plan i just thought i'd update you and i've been making notes on my phone as to what happened so that i don't forget anything but so far the day is just it's flown past i can't believe it it's going so quick oh. okay so we are back home now we've been to sainsbury's we came home and had some lunch and then we've just been and walked around um like our housing estate where we live just to get some steps in i think we've done nearly seven thousand steps so another try thank you mine's trying to fix my bottle because it's making noise it's making a slurping noise still doing not as bad though, is it? No. I don't know what's wrong with it, it's a bit strange. Um, but yeah, it's nearly... What time is it now? Half past two. So, the day is going quite quickly. Um, still feeling okay. A little bit uncomfortable. Um, having a few, like, niggly pains. And every now and then they just get a little bit, a little bit tense. But yeah, that's how we're doing. You all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Chilling over there. It's easy, this stuff. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we're going to have a cup of tea. Maybe a biscuit. Biscuits, yeah. I'm going to have a raspberry leaf tea, I think. And I've got my clary sage on a... It's on a muslin cloth at the moment because I've packed my flannels and I haven't gone back out again. So I've been inhaling this. It actually smells really nice, if anyone's wondering. I didn't really know if I'd like it or not, but it's really quite nice and calming, so yeah. It's now about half past three and we've decided that we're going to start making the house quite cosy. So we've, um, we've shut all the curtains and Ryan is just blocking in this door over here because it has two window panels in it. And at the moment the sun's decided to come out, so he's blocking that in. Um, and then set up a little station down here you can see it i've got my diffuser with my curry sage in it my <laughs> himalayan salt lamp my phone's on charge and my headphones so i can listen to my hypnobirthing tracks got some water and um yeah i just had a lay down for half an hour and there's definitely something going on um some uncomfortableness. Now I'm up, it's not so bad. There we go, it's getting darker in here. I'm gonna have one of these too because I'm a little bit hungry. It's now 20 past seven and um, these contractions have started. They're about every three to four minutes apart at the moment. And only last, well, some are lasting sort of 20 to 30 seconds, and then every now and then I get a really long one that's 40 to 50 seconds. Um, and I'm using my hypnobirthing tracks and the hypnobirthing app that comes from the Positive Birth Company, and it is really good. She counts you through your breathing for the contraction, and um, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. I've just started drinking some of the Lucas Aid Sport I bought. It's actually quite nice. Um, Ryan's made dinner. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to eat any. Oh, hold on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. That was another one. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. It's, um, like I said, about 20 past seven. 
Ryan's just made dinner. I think he's going to eat, but I'm not sure whether I'll be able to eat much. How are you feeling now, Laura? Okay. Yeah? <laughs> How's... What time is it? It's 20 to 9, and we've just put the Thames machine on, because I had a bit of a wobble. But yeah, the Thames machine's quite good so far. Ah, oh, good. I'm just tired, and <laughs> struggling to find a comfortable position. <laughs> and what are you watching? Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> and why? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm switching between that and my hypnobirthing music. The two are completely different, but there you go. <laughs> right, speak to you all soon. So we've made it to the hospital. Laura? <laughs> um, time now is 20 past uh, 12. And Laura's contractions are about two minutes apart now, so um, hopefully we'll be seeing our little one soon. Okay, so we've now set the room up with all the candles. Say hi, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and Laura's having a good old slip on the end now. She's not going to wave because I don't think she uh, can hear me. A little bit of a contraction there. Say hi to the camera, Laura. Okay, she's a bit busy. <laughs> right, Speak. see you in a bit. This is like the first time we've eaten, isn't it? Yeah, that's like the first time we've eaten. How long have we been here now? Long time. Well, it's now <laughs> half, oh, nearly half past one, and we arrived here at. Uh, it was eight o'clock yesterday morning that my water's been. What time? 11 o'clock, wasn't it? Lovely. Last night? Yeah, it's about 12 o'clock last night. It's been a long way this Do you feel like you're pregnant now, Laura? What, sorry? Do you feel like you're pregnant now? I just feel like a whale. <laughs> How's that ga gas and hair treating you? It's okay. We've used it quite a lot, I don't know if there's any left. <laughs> Okay, you gonna you gonna say bye for now? Bye.